Hey countries! On Tuesday, I sent a letter to Steve, and here's a clip of me putting it in the envelope. So I have proof. <laughs> hey Steve. I'm packing your letter now. <laughs> I'm packing a little unknown things that make noises in it too. I'm not telling you where it is. I think I will include a clip um, in my Saturday video. So this will be long gone and maybe you will even have the letter by then. Or I don't know, I will send it out tomorrow, that's Tuesday, so you might have it Saturday or Monday. Monday the latest, Monday, Tuesday, next week is the latest, I think. And now I'll go on with the story. Until suddenly every color started to drain out of the world, like it was sucked away by a giant vacuum cleaner. Everything became pitch black and all the boy could hear was a woman's voice calling his name over and over again. It took some seconds for him to realize that he knew this voice. It was his mother's. With an inaudible bang, the color was back, but now the scenery looked very different. He was standing in a living room and someone was holding onto his shoulders, shaking him. Dad, the boy said weakly, and the shaking stopped. He looked over to see his mother looking at him, worried, her cheeks wet from tears. You were gone quite a while this time, dear. I almost thought... Don't say that, said the boy's father. You always snap out of it, won't you, boy? The boy was still too confused and disorientated to respond, so he just nodded his head wearily. But what if one day he doesn't, asked his mother fearfully. The doctor said it could be just a phase. A lively imagination isn't uncommon among children. Yes, but like this? He can't even seem to control it. When he's gone, he's like in a vigil coma or something. But the boy knew there was more to it. He didn't tell his parents, but sometimes things from the other place, as he called it, came over into this world with him. So how could it just be his imagination then? Wasn't it more like visiting another world? Maybe even a parallel universe? And as the parents went on with the same discussion they had since the boy could remember, and the boy was lost in his thoughts, wondering if there were other people out there like him, and if one day he could manage to visit the other place in his own body, none of them noticed a little camera in one corner of the ceiling. It was recording everything and sent it to a screen in an official looking building where a man was looking at it and taking notes. A phone rang and the man answered it. Yes, I think the boy is almost ready. He's doing much better than former test objects. They couldn't stand it and one day they, they would kill themselves. One even ripped his own eyes out to make the images go away. Do you remember that? But this boy is different. Soon he'll be ready to change back and forth at will and even take his own body with him, if we're lucky. That's when we will introduce ourselves. And what do we do until then? asked the voice over the phone. What we do every time. We just wait and watch.